Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the next video where I make a Pathfinder 2 character to show you how easy it really is. To figure out what kind of character I'm going to make, I decided to roll some die. Let's try for an ancestry. Four. This better be something interesting. Number four. Goblin. Let's write that down. And now for the class. Seven. I'm only going to be using the core rulebook today because my mind can only handle so much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A goblin fighter. Hmm. Life is but a dream. Let's do these ability scores. Ability boosts, dexterity, charisma, and free. A boost means you get two extra to the score, and the flaw is wisdom. Of course it is. Dexterity becomes a 12. Charisma, 12. Wisdom, 8. Everything else, 10. I also get a free ability boost. Where am I going to put that? Well, I'm a fighter. Better put it into strength. I got one of these erasers that is terrible. Let me get a better eraser. I'll be right back. We're back in action with this broken pencil, but it has an eraser. I'm glad the goblin doesn't have a flaw of strength. Speed of 25 feet. I can write that down somewhere. You see, I normally... I'm a game master, so I haven't actually filled out too many of these, but it'll just prove to you how easy it really is. Languages, common, goblin. Size is small. I don't know what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna pick my heritage. Fun. Char hide, razor tooth. Ooh, unbreakable goblin. 10 hit points from in your ancestry instead of six. When you fall, reduce the falling damage you take as though you had fallen half the distance. Awesome. <laughs> hit points, that means I get 10. And resistances, half falling damage. That's because I'm a bouncy goblin and his name will be bouncy -do. No, that's bad. What about Bonks. Bonks got... No, oh, Bonks is good. And I get an Ancestry Feet. We love that. Hmm. It's lots of cool stuff. Not very interesting for you to watch me read. Ooh, Goblin Weapon. Ooh, Goblin Song. Goblin Song is pretty cool. Gotta go with Goblin Weapon Familiarity, though. You know, there's a second page of the sheet where you can put all your feats. Oh, heritage. Oh yeah, unbreakable. How easy was that? Already done with my ancestry. Now I pick a background. See, this is actually fun, is looking up all this crazy stuff. And you know what? I looked at this one and it's already awesome. Bounty Hunter. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> One must be to strength or wisdom. Well, gotta be strength. I'm a fighter, baby. 14. And one is free. Constitution. Because I'm unbreakable. <laughs> Ooh, I'm already excited. Trained in the survival skill and the legal lore skill. Legal lore. We go to here, survival, and we cross out this trained thing. And then we go to lore, legal. Because he's working outside the law. Yeah, it makes sense. Experience tracker skill feet. Now we go to the class. Fighter, page 140. Key ability, strength. Strength is now at 16. Let's do my four free ability boosts right now so I can get that out of the way. First strength, 18 strength. <laughs> and then three more. Gotta be constitution. Then I might do Charisma and Dexterity. Makes it pretty easy to do the modifiers then. 18 is plus 4, plus 2 for Dexterity, plus 2, plus 0, minus 1 for Wisdom. Didn't correct for that bad Wisdom. I'm a goblin. What am I supposed to do? Be wise? Hit points, 10 plus your Constitution modifier. Well, I already started with 10. That means I'm at 22. Truly unbreakable. Perception. Expert in perception. Saving throws. Expert in fortitude. Expert in reflex. Trained in will. 
restrained in your choice of acrobatics or athletics. Athletics. Trained in a number of additional skills. Three plus your intelligence, which is zero. So that's three. Intimidation. Crafting. I'm going acrobatics. Attacks. Simple weapons. Expert. Martial weapons. Expert. Advanced weapons. Trained. Unarmed. Expert. Class DC. Trained. Well, that was easy. What do I get at level one as a fighter? Attack of opportunity. Fighter feet. Shield block. Bonks. Bonks the bounty hunter. Your class features. Attack of opportunity. Oh, that's good. Where the heck do I write that? Oh, there's a place for actions and activities. Well, let's put that here. Reaction. Trigger. A creature within your reach manipulates, moves, uses a ranged weapon, or leaves a square. I remember most of these triggers from Pathfinder 1st Edition. Assuming it's the same. Very nice! Then I get Shield Block. The Shield Block General Feat. A reaction that lets you reduce damage with your shield. A reaction? I'll put that in the same place. Page 266. Oh, that's useful. Place to put the page number. They thought of this. They thought of all of this. They be smart Minska. Then I get a fighter feat. Yay, 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 I love getting feats. Fighter feat. Point blank shot. Power attack. Ooh, me like. Reactive shield. Well, I took a lot of strength. I could have taken a lot of constitution and been more of a defensive fighter. Could have taken a lot of dexterity, even more of a ranged fighter. But I kind of went the traditional route and took a lot of strength. Which makes me, I guess, some kind of strong fighter. Oh, yeah. Double slice. Ooh, double slice is awesome. Double slice. You're wielding two weapons. Two actions. You use them both at the same time. Double slice. Sounds pointless. Two actions, two attacks, but you only use this your current multiple attack penalty, which means if it's your first two actions of the round, you basically get two attacks with no multiple attack penalty. Cool, but one of them should be an agile weapon. Keep that in mind. Feet first, double slice. And I can put that here too. Actions two, name, double slice. Oh, I can put my features, but they were basically feats. Attack of opportunity. Oh, and I need to do my armor, too. Trained in all armor. Trained in unarmored defense. Those are all my class features. That was pretty fast. Now I can maybe go back and figure out my languages. I get no extra languages. Okay. Now I can get some equipment. So I kind of decided to be a two-hand... two-handed... No. A, two, a, a fighter with two weapons. I need something with the agile trait. Main gauche, that is the agile trait, but I have no idea what that is, so I'm not going to take it. Short sword, actually only the second weapon needs to be agile. So I might have, for example, a long sword. Wait a minute, what the hell am I doing? I have goblin weapon familiarity, man. Dog slicer. No, oh, that'll be my second weapon. Dog slicer, it's got the agile trait. Traits, agile, backstabber, finesse. Gob, but I'm not going to write that because I already know. And my main weapon, you know what, I'll just pick something cool. That's got to be a longsword. What am I uh, so worried about? Longsword, versatile, P. Damage, 1d8. Dog slicer is 1d6. Strength, plus 4, plus 4. So if you're trained, you get a plus 3 at level 1, but expert, plus 4, plus 1, plus 5. Oh my god. And I have a plus four strength, so plus nine. Bonks the bounty hunter boy is really going to come in handy when he's going to come in. Ignore that I did that, please. Okay, now it's time to just fill in all the gaps. Should be pretty easy. My AC, debt. Oh, I never got armor. 
I want to get the adventurers back. Take my own advice. You can also get a class kit. It's pretty useful. A fighter is proficient in all armor. So what I'm going to do to see the best armor I can get while still taking advantage of my dexterity of plus two. Strength shouldn't be an issue. I'm very strong. But I think I'm going to get scale mail just for fun. Still has a plus two dex cap bonus, which is my dexterity, proficiency. The item bonus is plus three. So my total AC, two, three, five, seventeen. Probably could be better, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm liking this guy. Now I can fill out my skills. What I want to get is become really good at intimidating people. That's kind of the vision I have for this guy. If you're trained, plus three. Oh, also, if you do athletics or acrobatics, and you are not strong enough, you take an armor penalty. But I am strong enough, because I am an extremely strong goblin. 18 strength from a goblin. This guy looks like a chimpanzee. Bonks. Bimps. Binks. I mean, I'm basically done. Of course, I should also probably get a ranged weapon. And I think he's a goblin. I'll go for a short bow. That was pretty fast. Pretty easy and actually pretty fun. I mean, it helps to have s kind of put some more thought into it maybe than I did. But I think I still ended up with a pretty interesting character. A goblin fighter with specializing in du dual wielding swords. And what else can he do? Yeah, I took goblin weapon familiarity. That wasn't that interesting. But unbreakable, I really like that. I think what I'm going to try to get, do as I level up, I'm never leveling up. What I think I'm going to try to do as I level up is make him really good at jumping off cliffs onto the opponent. Ooh, I should change my feet to the riding feet, and then I could ride an eagle. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that's all there is to say.